Hello from Suncoast Software and thank you again for watching this video. Um, today we're going to learn about the list string and how to generate random quotes or show a quote of the day when your form loads randomly. So let's begin. I already have a program or my project started and I have a label to display the quote or the message that you want to randomly generate. I have two buttons, a close button and a generate button. And we're going to need a text file because we're going to read the quotes from a text file to put into the label. So let's go to <clears throat> your project name, we'll right click on it, go to add new item. In the general part We'll go down to text file, name it whatever you like. I'm going to name mine quotes and click add. Now that puts a text file in your project. So this is where you have would have all your quotes. And I have my quotes in a text file already, I'm going to copy and paste them into my project. So we'll paste, there's the quotes. Now we'll click save to save these and then we'll, be, we'll continue on. So in the code view you can see I have two button or a button one and a button two. The button two is the close button which the application exit, that closes your application and we're gonna generate we're gonna generate a random quote in the form load but I'm gonna put it in the button also to show you that you can every time you click the button it'll generate a random quote from our text file so let's uh, let's start I'm gonna create a new method called generate this is to generate, read from the text file and generate a random quote and put it into a label. So what we're going to need is the system I.O. right here. Using system I.O. You're going to need that for the stream reader. So let's start. I'm going to type everything out and then we'll come back and I'll explain it all. So let's begin with the
Okay, so the, the generate method is, takes a list, a random class, and a stream reader class. We start by creating a list string of quotes, <clears throat> and then we, we generate a random class and a stream reader quote reader. The quote reader is going to read our quotes that we added over here. So, so click on your quotes text, right click on it, go to properties, and then where it says copy to output directory, you want that to be copy if newer. Then your string, your line that's going to be your, it's going to read, the stream reader is going to read the, the quote text file line by line but we want to generate the line an empty string for now and then while the, the quote reader is not at the end of the stream which means not at the end of the file the exclamation point in front of the quote reader means while it's not at the end of the stream it's going to read the line and add that line to the quotes list then it's going to go back up if it's not at the end of the stream and do it all over again until it gets to the end of the stream. Once it's at the end of the stream, your quotes list will have all your quotes in the text file in the list now. So now we can read, now we can generate a random quote from the text file and add it to the label, which that's what this does here. Now, in the form load event, you want to call the generate method. And but when we save and run the application, it'll generate a random quote and put it in the label right there. So now, every time we run it, it'll generate a random quote. To show you this without closing the form and loading it all the time, I'll, I'll put that, I'll call the generate method in a button and then we'll click the button a few times and we'll see. So there's the quote, click generate, and there's, it changes it to a different one. So now every time your form loads, just like clicking the button, you can have a random quote of the day load while your form's loading, you can read the quote of the day or whatever that is, whatever you want them to do, you know? So that's, basically how you generate a random quote. I uh, hope you learned something about lists today. If you have any suggestions on tutorials in the future, leave a comment and I'll see about video, you know, making a video for one if, uh, if I can figure it out. All right.